What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to focus on adding transitions inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new tutorials. You notice I have two clips added to the timeline. We have this lovely dock with the ocean and then the house is behind it. And then the next clip over here is a boat just kind of traveling in water. And you'll notice I've color coded each clip. So this clip to the left is kind of like a turquoise or a baby blue, I should say. And then the one over here is more of like a sea foam green. I did that on purpose because I just want to make it very clear where the clips connect. It transitioned to the boat clip. So that's a transition. Now, if you want something a little with more effects, you click on it down here, one click, you'll notice a red line will come through and either side you can do it the same thing. And then right mouse click, you'll see apply default transition. I'm going to click that and you notice it put a transition already in that. And the default is something that's with Adobe Premiere Pro. You can change it if you find a transition that you like better. You can always change it later, but this is actually a pretty good one that I use quite a bit. It's just subtle. I'll back it up and I'll play it for you. So you'll see instead of just jumping to the next clip, it kind of has a smooth word dissolves into the next. So there's that. Now I'm going to bring this up a little higher so we can see it more specifically. So you can see the cross dissolves in there. Now, if you want to make it longer, say you want it to drag it out a little longer, if you grab the edge, either edge, the right or the left, and drag it, it'll expand it evenly on both sides of the two clips. So remember, this is always the middle. So you can make it short if you want, or if you want to make it long, it'll just play a little bit different. So it just slows it down. And then on the flip side, if you make it super short, it just switches quick. So you can manipulate it by grabbing each handle. But if you want, if you click on it here, if you double click it, you can set the transition duration, which means, so this is 14 frames right now, but let's say I want to make it two seconds. I can do two seconds and then zero, zero frames. And then it'll make exactly two seconds long. If you come up here to the source panel, you'll notice you have a couple other options. So here on the left, we have the alignment for that transition. And right now it's set at center at cut, which means it's evenly down the middle of both clips. You can do a start at cut, and you'll notice down the timeline it changed it. So when the clips come together, it starts there. And then if you change at end of cut, as you can imagine, it goes to the previous clip and puts it on the end of that. So you have those options. But you'll notice down here it says custom start, which is grayed out. But what you would do is you can come here and you can drag it one fourth on the front and three fourths on the back. You'll notice down here where the two clips come together, it's not even and it's not all on one side or all on the left side. It's that kind of one-fourth here, three-fourths here. And you can customize that any way you want up on the top left. Now the other benefit up here is you remember down in the timeline when we'd grab the handles and we would drag one side, the other side would match evenly. Here if you grab one side, you can shorten just one side. So that way you can just make it a little more custom. And I'm going to pull that out so it's back to even. Now that's a basic dissolve cut. Let's say you want something a little different. I'm going to click on this, I'm going to delete it. I'm going to come up here to the preset layouts, which right now we're in the editing as it's highlighted in blue. We'll jump over to the right, we'll go to color, and then we'll go to effects. You notice it kind of switches a little bit around, and then it also prompts you to the effects tab here. And you notice it down, go down a few, at the very bottom it says video transitions. Just click the arrow, it'll do a drop down menu, and each of these you can drop down and play with all the different transitions. But for now I'm going to grab this wipe transition and you just grab it bring it down right in the middle like you did before and you'll see it evenly places there and just let go there we are and we have a little more of an effect driven transition but now I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on it again and you notice up in the source panel this is a little bit different there's a few more options on this one so we can still play around with this the same way we did in the previous section but the difference is there's more options down here so you'll notice because it's a swipe it moves across like that, you can manipulate and adjust that specific part. So let's just say you want it, instead of starting on the very first frame from the far left, say you want to have it start right here, you can just drag this from the left frame halfway, and that's showing. It'll start automatically halfway through it, which the reason the transition is you want the full transition, but if you want to manipulate, you have that option. And on the flip side, you can manipulate the second clip so it ends halfway through. So if we're playing here, you'll notice it just stops right at the halfway point. 
But like I said, I always leave those open just because I want the full transition. That's why I'm doing it. Um, now you can adjust certain things. Like obviously there's a line here. So if you head down here, there's a border. You can widen that. See how it made the border black a little bit wider? Make it a little bit bigger. Now if you have another transition where there's a, a cross or a circle, any sort of line or border, this border width will be the same thing just to whatever shape that transition has. And you can change the border color. So let's just say we want to make it white. We can click down here. And now you have the white border. Now you'll notice it plays left to right, like most do. But down here on the bottom, there's a reverse tab. If you click it, when you go to play it, it'll go right from left. So you can manipulate that in different ways if you like it. But obviously right, left to right is more common. Anyway, that is how to apply a basic transition. And I would suggest getting a couple clips, putting them together, and head over here to the effects tab and literally just go through this whole thing and apply each individual one and see what they do and see what they look like and just play around. That's the best way to learn. Let me close this out. Go back here. I'm going to delete this. Hopefully this video showed you how to apply transitions and how to edit them and customize them in the way that you want. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And like I said, if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Later. Later.